Hey everybody, how's how you living? Hope you're alive with living colors. This is Eric Lehman here coming at you with another episode of EML 77 TV episode 331. What's going on? Well, basically, this legendary store has basically about seven or eight hours left of business today at the Dartmouth Mall. As you know, this is the, today, the final day of Sears at the Dartmouth Mall. The final Sears, the last Sears in the south coast of Massachusetts, finally closing its doors. Now, Sears has been around for 127 years, since the late 1800s. And it's been the retail giant of America ever since. But recent year, in recent years, Sears has been on the decline. Bankruptcy, merger with Kmart, and it's gone downhill. And unfortunately, the online shopping has definitely taken over. And the doors of Sears Dartmouth will be closing after today. This is the final day of Sears, and I figured I'd pay tribute to it because I had a lot of great memories over at Sears. As you know, the Auto Center was part of that. It was the first one to close. It's been part of, uh, part of my family's life via my father for 40 years. As you know, my dad worked at the Auto Center for four of those 40 years. And it was, it was 39 years, but we have 40 years to be precise, but whatever. As things change, as um, you know, shopping you know shopping habits change, and all that, uh, Sears was a legendary store that I will never forget, and I miss. I usually, when I when I was still working at Ruby Tuesday, I didn't have my license back in the day. I usually put my stuff in my dad's car, and or or van. I think we had a van at the time. We usually make. We used to go up, and. Uh, I used to go up to Sears, usually make a beeline for the uh, video game uh, section, the World Nintendo kiosk, and play some Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo, and then as over the years, times change, as you know, uh, then it was to the N64, and played some Super Mario 64, it's Mario Kart 64, I had some great memories there. Also, I think it was Christmas, Christmas of 89, I think it was our... First, you know, first full year, near the first full year of mar uh, my parents being married, my biological father and my stepmother, and my stepmother decided to take us uh, Christmas shopping one time, and we had Christmas shopping money, and so I went to the uh, Nintendo section and got me this, about twenty bucks worth, Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, still this original package, believe that, believe it or not, it's and in good condition too. I'm not selling it, so don't worry about it. And, uh, yeah, 60 bucks. And I was looking forward to playing this when I got home. It was, I kept on looking at it and reading it and all that good stuff. So, this was one of the best memories of Sears I ever had, was buying this. Also, I bought a Game Boy from Sears. And it was a, a different location, I forget where. I mean, and I forget where. It wasn't... It wasn't Swansea, it wasn't... The gallery didn't open up uh, back in the 80s. It opened up in 92, so... Or did I get it? I'm not, I, I forget now. I know. I remember getting a Game Boy and I got this. It was really cool. So, that's best memories of Sears I ever had. Um, the Wish Books. Love the cat. The reason why I started reading catalogs, I was fascinated with the Cuckoo Clocks when I was a kid growing up. And... Uh, you know, National Catalog showrooms, and I couldn't. My nana, my, my nana back in the, in Dartmouth, in the south end of Dartmouth, uh, had some. So I used to, you know, look around, look inside them, and then, uh, then our neighbor next door that I call Granny um, had some. So you know, she had a cuckoo clock, and I was fascinated with cuckoo clocks when I was a kid. So, but thing is, I couldn't take any of these catalogs home. I said, oh man, you know, I wish I had some. So. The Sears Wish Book was like the next best thing to the National Catalog Showrooms catalog. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I started reading through them and I'm like, ah, this is... Oh, I found some Google Clocks and was really excited. And so, and it bought more memories. And so it was... So I figured, hey, why not? I got a couple of them in here somewhere. And uh, 
was rather pleased. So I remember buying. I remember having one of the uh, one of the um, catalogs, um, the '88 Wish Book, and had didn't I had that one for a while, but then everything happened. We all moved, and we don't know what happened to it. But found it on eBay, bought that. So it's like part of my childhood is with me now. One of the '88 Wish Book now will be a distant memory. Uh, it will be a memory now because Sears is closing. So I used to get wish books from there all the time. Really excited. When a new wish book comes in, hey, here's the, here's the money. I'll take it. And these used to cost like nine or ten bucks. So now they cost more, obviously, because they're going to be uh, wow. They're going to be uh, they're going to be me- re- relics of memory, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. So I'm really excited. That you know, I'm really happy that I got all the stuff from Se- all the stuff series like this and um, yeah, Super Mario Land for the Game Boy cost me twenty bucks at Sears. Believe like that. That's back in the day. I had Christmas money. So to that end, um, when I heard that the Sears indictment was going to close, that was mind blowing because I I honestly never thought this was the Sears would close. To be honest with you. I figured everybody's going to start coming here. Sears is going to make a lot of money. They're going to be in business for a long time. And it'll be totally awesome. I, fi- I figured that Sears was going to be here for the next couple of years to be celebrating 50 years of the Dartmouth Mall. But no. No, the entire, com- you know, the entire company was, uh, was going under, man. You know, what choice do they have? But I will forever miss Sears. I want to say thank you, Sears, for being for my, there for my dad during the best of times, his worst of times as well, in the early years and the early going. But I also want to thank you for doing good, doing decent, decent business with you. I'm sorry for everything that's happened to you. And um, I know you will be forever a legend in retail shopping history. Sometimes all good things come to an end. Sometimes when things change, times change. Times evolve. And sometimes if you can't keep up with those times, then what are you going to do? You know? I want to thank Mr. Bob Spooner for his kindness and, you know, and love and for, towards our family. I want to say thank you, sir, for your great service over at Sears. And hope whatever next venture you, you have, you're going to take is going to help you and benefit you and your family. So thank you, Mr. Spooner. Really been a nice he's really been a nice guy, Mr. Spooner. And he's known my father for years. He's known me for years and like I said, all the good things must come to an end. You know? What can you do? You know, but Sears, salute to you. Thank you. And hey, thank you for this. <laughs> I will never forget you guys. Every time I look at this, I'll be thinking of Sears. And all the memories I had there. Every time I play Mario Kart 64, or even play some Super Mario 64, I will never. I will think of Sears. All those times where you should hang about there. If I don't have... If, I, if like my father has a short time of work left, I don't have time to go all the way up to Dream Machine. Sears is the next best thing, so... And if every time I play on Super Mario All Stars, I will always think of Sears. And I want to say thank you, Sears. Thank you so much. You put a smile on my face, and a lot of people's faces here in America. But the final Sears of the South Coast is now officially going to be closing its doors after today. After today, eight hours of business, that's it. And all those employees that are working there say um, thank you. And I pray that you uh, find, hope you uh, pray find your uh, find a job, and you know hope that you uh, find something you're looking for that makes you happy, and hopefully it will help you and your family and families. I know my sister Cora worked there for a short bit to help help get her off the ground, get her going, and. And uh, and she didn't last long after that. So all I could say is, Sears, 
has made a humongous impact on me and my family's life. I want to say thank you, Sears. 48 years at the Dartmouth Mall, thank you. So, so long. All right. That's all the time we have on the show. God's um, blessings, life, love, and light to all of you out there. Pay attention. You might learn something and catch you on the flip side. I can screw that up. I remember, we cannot change our past, but we can change our present time to work for a better future. So long. You guys have a wonderful day. See you in episode 332. Or I will give you another tribute to the Dartmouth Mall in a different way. The top 15 North Dartmouth Mall stores that I miss over the years. That will be my next list. All right? I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.